The political standoff in the Democratic Republic of Congo continues to take new twists and turns. On Sunday, the country's electoral body announced its unlikely polls will take place before the end of the year, violating a deal that's allowed President Joseph Kabila to stay on past the end of his mandate. Opposition party La Rassemblement is furious, accusing the Electoral Commission of colluding with Kabila's government. For the Rassemblement, for the Rassemblement group, the announcement of Electoral Commission President is a veritable declaration of war against the Congolese people ordered by Joseph Kabila to further frustrate a people already harmed by the catastrophic socio-economic situation. By the 31st of December at the latest, we plan to liberate Kabila's seat and presidential palace he occupies. The party is planning to stage nationwide demonstrations to force an election. Under a peace accord struck last year, Kabila is barred from standing for a third term. The Rassemblement invites the Congolese people to redouble their vigilance and to stand ready to take an active role in mass resistance action from the 22nd of July onwards. Last week, the Democratic Republic of Congo appealed to international bodies for financial assistance in order to hold elections. And President Joseph Kabila maintains polls can only be scheduled once the Electoral Commission has finished enrolling millions of voters. Jean Kiel, CGTN.